The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. Welcome to the program. We've been talking about 10 years since going into Iraq, and it is actually 10 years to the day, March 20th, 2003, 10 years ago today, the U.S. went into Iraq. And we have a fascinating article that's in Wired magazine, and I encourage you to look at it, by Nada Bakos, where she writes, she's a former CIA analyst, and the, the title of the article is, I tried to make the intelligence behind the Iraq war less bogus. And uh, Nada goes into pretty explicit detail about conversations and interactions with Dick Cheney and his office about trying proactively trying to make a link between Saddam Hussein and 9-11. And this not that we needed more information, Lewis. It's pretty obvious now after 10 years exactly what happened. But these types of specific stories are pretty interesting. And she goes on and she explains a lot of different things. And she says uh, she was working at the counterterrorism center after 9-11. And she says, what we don't routinely do is tie one catastrophe to another. But that was exactly what I was asked to do in November of 2002, shortly after Congress voted to authorize war with Iraq. That war was predicated on Saddam Hussein's ultimately non-existent stockpiles of deadly weapons. But lurking in the background was the assertion he'd passed them on to Al Qaeda at the CIA's Iraq branch in the counterterrorism center. We didn't think Saddam had any substantial ties to Al Qaeda, but we soon found ourselves fielding questions from determined Bush administration officials about whether or not Saddam was tied to 9-11. So then Ms. Bakos goes on to say that March 16, 2003, four days before the invasion of Iraq, she watched Dick Cheney on Meet the Press contradict the assessment she knew the CIA had provided to Cheney's office. Right, Lewis? Imagine that you're you've just given an assessment to Dick Cheney. He goes on Meet the Press and you watch him say the opposite. You know he's not telling the truth. Yeah, it's got to be uh, a terrible feeling. It's got to be shocking. She goes on and to say that as it turned out, the questions about Saddam being tied to 9-11 wouldn't stop once the invasion occurred. In June 2003, the Defense Department started to report that troops discovered caches of, Israel, of Iraqi intelligence services documents proving Saddam was tight with, with Al Qaeda. And then she goes on to describe in detail and, and just read the article because it's, it's very short and it's worth looking at how they found a document that was a supposed handwritten note. And then they did all sorts of analysis on it. And basically they determined these were forgeries, the ink, the paper, the handwriting, the timing, nothing made sense. In other words, they were forgeries and they presented that information to Dick Cheney. And she says, I wasn't there, but I heard the vice president was gracious and thanked her, referring to uh, Ms. Bacos's branch chief, Karen. And of course, that did not affect in any way the public reporting of that story fascinating, disturbing, and com completely unsurprising. <laughs> yeah, sadly. Sadly so.